guys, today we're going to use the tool ShareGate to migrate a folder and files located underneath from one site collection to another. This is something that ShareGate is amazing with. It keeps the metadata, tagging, everything so that when you migrate and you have a migration effort, it doesn't take the original creator, modified by information, etc., and change it to your own information, which is what happens if you just try to pick it up and physically move it yourself. So with that, let's start. ShareGate is the tool, the power tool that we'll be using. To start off with, on the left, we're gonna see some options here. When you go down, we're gonna see under migration, we're gonna see copy. That's what we wanna do. This is a request that came in recently for me. Hey, David, we wanna get some folders, from one site collection and we want to migrate those over to another. How do we go about doing that? Well, here's how we do it. Okay, we go and select copy content only. The main thing that you want to know to start off with too is that you want to always, before you make a migration effort, you always want to know what's the source and what's the destination. In other words, where are you taking the source? What is the location of these folders or the files underneath and where will you be placing them to live? So the source here, we're gonna paste that URL. We're gonna connect. And when we connect here, we can, uh, we'll see here in a second, it's gonna give us some options of where the documents are. So we're gonna select for this case, shared documents, select next. And then now we want to know where's the destination? Where again? Where are we going to be migrating these folders and files to? So we put in the site address for the destination. I always like to use authentications browser. And hit connect. And this is going to give us an option again of where do we want to place those? What folder location in the site contents are we going to place this? And for sake of discussion here, let's put it in HR documents. Okay, currently HR documents, and let me bring this up here. This is the destination right here. Currently HR documents, if you look, there's only three items in there and the last time it was modified was March 16th. So let's see what happens when we do this migration effort. Let's hit next, it's HR documents. All right, now what's gonna happen is we're gonna see the copy content option pop up here and we're going to see here these are the folders again from the the source and this is going to be the destination so the source again is on your left the destination is on the right so for the sake of discussion these are the two folders that we want to migrate over with the files underneath and we want to migrate over to the hr documents and the destination location and site collection before we do anything the most important things i would always say is check options on the top right when you go and you want to migrate something you want to make sure that it's going to migrate successfully before you make the effort because ShareGate as powerful as it is it can also really screw up some stuff or it could not even work at all so to make sure that this is going to work we're going to go through the operation options here we're going to look here and say if items exist copy and replace them you can do that. You can don't copy existing, copy and keep both. Copy if newer, incremental. And incremental, we'll go over that in another video later on, but incrementals are amazing. Incrementals are what you do when you've already migrated a site collection or a, a folder uh, and so forth, and there's already been more value added from at the source. So let's say you migrated a site collection to the new destination. Well, somebody came in after you might did the migration effort and they added more content. This, the incremental, is how you would add that new content and not mess up the migration effort that you already did. Again, we'll do that in another video, but let's just go over the migration here. So configurations, preserve authors and timestamps. Yes, permissions. You can always set those in SharePoint. So I'm gonna deselect this. Web parts. I'll deselect this as well. Version history, yes, we want to keep that up. And update links. We're going to take that and we're going to deselect that. Once you have this set up, you want to come up here and hit save and close in the top right. Once you've done that, one thing I always like to do before I do any other thing in, in the migration effort itself is I like to make sure that these items, 
these two selected items that we're going to migrate over, we're going to run a pre-check to make sure that there's not going to be any issues that we face when we actually start the copy and the migration effort itself. So click on run pre-check. Usually this takes a minute or two. It depends on the size of the, the folder location and what you have housed underneath it. And there we go. Seems like there's going to be no issues if we do this. So we hit back. We're going to restore the migration options that we've already just put into play. And now what we want to do, since we know that there's not going to be any issues when we run this migration, we can go ahead and hit start copy. Now again, remember, there was only three items and the last time that it had been updated for this HR documents was back in March. So once we run this effort, what we should see is we should see this update to today's date, which is actually May 27th. So let's go ahead and hit start copy. It's going to copy this. We're going to, this is not a lot of content. This is just for an example, so it shouldn't take that long. Um, depending on how much uh, documents, how many files, the size of those files that you have housed in the folder collections, this can, this can really take a, a while or it can take really quick like this one because there's only six, six or seven uh, items. So you see 18 results. These are different parts of that you can click into any one of them if you have an issue, like content right here, there's a warning. Warnings uh, necessarily aren't going to be issues. When it comes up with an error, that's when you need to click on the error and see what the error is. That might be something that would cause uh, issue uh, for your migration effort. So now let's go over here and let's look. Okay, so HR documents three, right? Let's refresh and see. Now that should be updated here. Now there we go, HR documents updated to 15, and it's been updated to today's date and the timestamp. Now let's click on it and see if the migration effort worked with the metadata tagging. And if you look here now, you see, my name is David. You don't see that here. Those are the two folders right there that we just migrated. You can sit there and see right here. We'll go to the copy content just to show you what the, the folders were, the HCB faculty data and main data snapshots. So let's go back to this SharePoint site, the site contents, and as you see, those are the, the two folders that we migrated over, and that's the uh, actual information, the metadata tagging. As you can see, it brought it over, it brought over the history of when it was modified, who it was modified by, it shows you who it was created by, it's great. It has all the metadata tagging in there. It doesn't lose anything. And that's using ShareGate. Now you have just seen an example of how to successfully migrate folders from one site collection to another in SharePoint Online using ShareGate.